Well, hey there, and welcome to this brand new, very exciting Lesson of the Church video series. Today we are talking about dynamic range. Dynamic range is a very key concept when it comes to making great videos, and it is also the biggest separator from video footage that looks like home movies versus video footage that is silky and filmic looking like a feature film. Dynamic range refers to the range to which a camera can capture the lightest areas and the darkest areas of an image while still keeping detail. Think of it like a scale from 1 to 100. At the bottom you have the darkest areas, which are called shadows, and at the top you have the lightest areas, which are called highlights. Dynamic range refers to how much your camera can capture within that scale. Dynamic range is measured in stops. So, for instance, the Canon 60D has eight stops of dynamic range compared to the new Blackmagic Cinema camera, which has 13 stops of dynamic range. The more stops your camera has, the more of that scale that it can capture. Here's an example of dynamic range. These images are taken from the Blackmagic Design website. This first image is a common shot you'll get from a DSLR. You can see in the back of the room, all the highlights are blown out. The sun shining through the windows was too much for the camera and everything clipped. Compare that shot with this shot, a camera shot with a high dynamic range, and you can see all the detail that was kept. There's detail in the back of the room, but also even through the windows. I can't stress this enough, dynamic range is the biggest contributing factor to whether your footage will look amateur or pro. Unfortunately, dynamic range is solely based on your camera. It's not something you can improve on based on your shooting technique. Dynamic range is determined by your camera's sensor and its capabilities. So if you want to increase your dynamic range, you're probably going to have to buy a better camera. But fortunately, cameras that have high dynamic range are becoming a lot more affordable. For instance, the images that I showed previously were from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, which is a camera that costs only $1,000. It shoots raw, uncompressed footage with 13 stops of dynamic range. Very, very affordable. But if you're shooting with a DSLR like I am, the name of the game is maximizing the current dynamic range that we have. The best way to do this is to edit the current picture style you're using to shoot your footage. And you can do this by going into your camera's menu and editing it that way. To achieve the best dynamic range, you want to shoot with a very flat looking image. Now this won't look great coming out of the camera, it'll actually look pretty flat and ugly, but hopefully this will give you the necessary latitude to manipulate the image in post-production to get a very, very nice looking final image. And the best picture style settings for dynamic range are sharpness at zero, contrast at negative four, and saturation at negative two. There are also picture styles that you can download or purchase online that come preloaded to deliver flat, film-like footage that retains as much detail as possible. I've included some of these in the links below that I've personally used on my T3i, those two being CineStyle from Technicolor and Cine from Marvel. The good news about dynamic range is that as cameras and video gear become more and more affordable in the increasingly competitive market, you and I, as the consumers, really benefit. As I mentioned before, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera shoots raw, uncompressed footage with 13 stops of dynamic range for only $1,000, and this was announced a couple months ago as the camera was released. And if you don't know what those specs are, that's okay. What it means, though, is that cameras that used to cost $20,000, you can now get cameras that cost $1,000 with similar specs and that shoot similar looking video footage and that is just crazy unbelievable. So if you're frustrated with the current dynamic range of your camera, upgrading to a better option is very possible in the very near future. I myself pre-ordered the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera when it came out and it's supposed to come around August so when I get it I will make sure I do a lesson and a video showcasing all of its abilities as well. Well that's it for this lesson of the church video series. Today we talked about dynamic range and of course if you want to learn more about church video, church media, head over to ProChurchTools.com, become a subscriber, it's absolutely free and it comes with its own Pro Church Toolkit which will give you everything you need to learn more about church video and church media type things. That's all for me. I'll see you guys next week.